It is a sign repeated all along Metro's rail lines. Residential and retail buildings, some several stories high, popping up around the train stations in the surrounding suburbs. Well, a new development in that vein is up for a vote next week in Des Plaines, and the city thinks it's a smart move. We talked to neighbors who say it is, just not in the spot that it's slated to be built. The surest sign of a well-loved neighborhood is the longevity of those who call it home. 21 years. Since 2003. We've lived in Des Plaines 21 years. But their pride in their city is being put to the test. We were pretty surprised. Shocked, I think, would be the term. By an effort to build up Des Plaines downtown. What they're trying to do is shoehorn 10 pounds of mud into a 5-pound bag. At issue, this lot at Webford Avenue in Graceland, with city-owned parking and two buildings belonging to the local paper. Aldermen have given initial approval to change the zoning for this $35 million development, a seven-story mix of residential and retail with 131 units and a restaurant downstairs. And back along the railroad tracks. All over these there. neighbors can see, along with others opposed across the city, are safety concerns. Given the high, greatly increased traffic that they would be from the, the building now going in and the building they're proposing, we consider this to be a highly dangerous site. Beyond added traffic, they've brought up possible blind spots from the building on the busy roads. The structure being built out within feet of Metra's UP Northwest line. And worry that due to the tracks, it would be tough to access certain apartments in an emergency. It's a concern, right? It's problematic. But Displain City Manager says the opposite. Michael Bartholomew agreed to speak with me by phone and said those concerns are not founded. He cited traffic studies and an assessment from the fire department that gave the initial plans a green light. He said the project is in line with what Displain's economic development is looking to do. Draw more people into downtown to live and spend money. These neighbors don't disagree. We're really eager to have development. This is just the wrong thing in the wrong place. But it's a matter of what they feel is the right size of project in the right place. Find a different way to make this an appealing thing that will attract more people too. Bringing more people to displays to fall in love like they did. Displaying City Council meets Monday night, and that is when they could decide to finalize the zoning change to move that project forward. Those against the plan plan to attend.